Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the dynamic modeling principles. The dynamic model represents the time-dependent aspects of a system. It is concerned with the temporal changes in the state of the objects in a system. The main concepts are Firstly, state which is the situation at a particular condition during the lifetime of the object. Secondly, transition, a change in the state. Third one is event, that is an occurrence that triggers transition. Fourthly, action, that is an uninterrupted and atomic computation that occurs due to some event. And finally, concurrency of transitions. A state machine models the behavior of an object as it passed through a number of states in its lifetime due to some events as well as the actions occurring due to the events. A state machine is graphically represented through a state transition diagram. So now we are going to discuss about the state and state transitions. Firstly, we are discussing the term state. The state is an abstraction given by the values of the attributes that the object has a particular time period. It is a situation occurring for a finite time period in the lifetime of an object in which it fulfills certain conditions, performs certain activities, or wait for certain events to occur. In state transition diagram, a state is represented by rounded rectangles. So different parts of a state includes name, entry and exit action, internal transition, and substates. The term name means a string differentiate one state from another. A state may not have any name too. Secondly, the entry and exit actions denotes the activities performed on entering and on exiting the state. The internal transition means the changes within a state that do not cause a change in the state and the substate means states within a state and there comes the initial and final state also the default starting state of an object is called the initial state the final state indicates the completion of execution of the state machine the initial and the final states are pseudo states and may not have the part of the regular state except name. In state transition diagram, the initial state is represented by a filled black circle and the final state is represented by a filled black circle encircled within another unfilled black circle. And when we come to the transition, a transition denotes a change in the state of an object. If an object is in a certain state, when an event occurs, the object may perform certain activities subject to specified conditions and change the state. In this case, a state transition is said to have occurred. The transition gives the relationship between first state and new state. A transition is graphically represented by a solid direct arc from the source state to the destination state. There are five parts of a transition. They are source state, event trigger, guard condition, action, and target state. The source state is the state affected by the transition. The event triggers means the occurrence due to which an object in the source state undergoes a transition if the guard condition is satisfied. The guard condition means a Boolean expression which, if true, causes a transition on receiving the event trigger. The action means an uninterruptible and atomic computation that occurs on the source object due to some event. And finally, the target state means the destination state after the completion of transition. For example, suppose a person is having a taxi from one place X to a place Y. The state of the person may be waiting, riding, and reaching that is, he is waiting for a taxi and he has got a taxi and is traveling in it means riding 
and finally reached means he has reached the destination. This figure depicts the different transition states that is he is in initial state and then he go to the waiting state then riding state and finally he reached the final or destination state. So now we are going to discuss about the term events. Events are some occurrences that can trigger state transition of an object or a group of objects. Events have a location in time and space but do not have a time period associated with it. Events are generally associated with some actions. Examples of events are mouse click, key press and interrupt, stack overflow, etc. And events that trigger transitions are written alongside the arc of transition in state transition diagram. For example, consider the example shown in the figure. The transition from the waiting state to the riding state take place when the person gets a taxi. Likewise, the final state is reached when he reaches the destination. These two occurrences can be termed as events get taxi and reach the destination. This figure shows the event in state transition machine. The next terms to be discussed is the external and internal events. The external events are those events that pass from a user of the system to the object within the system. For example, mouse click or key press by the user are external events. And the internal events are those passes from one object to another object within a system. For example, stack overflow, queue overflow, a divide error, etc. When it comes to the deferred events, deferred events are those which are not immediately handled by the object in the current state but are lined up in a queue so that they can be handled by the object in some other state at the later time. Now we are going to discuss the term event classes. Event classes indicates a group of events with common structure and behavior. As with the classes of object, event classes may also be organized in a hierarchical structure. Event classes may have attributes associated with them, time being an implicit attribute. For example, we can consider the event of departure of a flight of an airline which we can group into the following classes like flight depart of which includes flight number from city to city that is the destination and the route and next we are going to discuss the term activity activity is an operation upon the state of an object that requires some time period they are the ongoing execution within a system that can be interrupted activities are shown in activity diagram that portray the flow from one activity to another activity. And the next term is the action. An action is an atomic operation that executes as a result of certain events. By atomic, it meant that actions are uninterruptible. If an action start executing, it run into completion without being interrupted by any event. An action may operate upon an object on which an event has been triggered or on other objects that are visible to this object. A set of action comprise an activity. Next we are going to discuss the entry and exit action. The entry action is the action that is executed on entering a state irrespective of transition that led into it. Likewise, the action that is executed while leaving the state irrespective of the transition that led out of it is called an exit action. And finally we are going to discuss about the term scenario. Scenario is a description of a specified sequence of actions. It depicts the behavior of the objects undergoing a specific action series. The primary scenario depicts the essential sequences and the secondary scenario depicts the alternative sequences. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the object oriented dynamic modeling different principles and terms. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So my dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is write in detail about state. 
parts of a state, initial and final state, transition, events, external and internal events, deferred events, event classes, activity, action, entry and exit action, and finally scenario. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture we are discussing the diagrams for dynamic modeling. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.